Ladies and gentlemen, after the Supreme Court uh, verdict opened a can of worms about the tutoring, the falsehoods, the lies, the tutoring of witnesses in the Gujarat riots case, we here at Republic have accessed the entire TISTA files that indicate a much bigger conspiracy was at play and at the center of it was Tista Settlewad. Let's debate. Tista Settlewad has been remanded in police custody till July the 2nd. But despite the allegations, there has been an outpouring from a certain faction. But these backers of Tista Settlewad won't talk about why the Ahmedabad crime branch has detained her. There are three accused. One is Tista Settlewad, R.B. Shri Kumar and Sanjeev Bhatt. Basically, what is in this case is to prepare the small details, to make a small record, and what is happening in the case of the case, to do it, and what is the process, the legal process, is to put it in the case of the case of the case. We have gotten the exclusive copy of the remand with respect to Tista Settlewad's investigation. And further inquiry will also be done and that is mentioned in the remand copy that three of the accused, Sanjeev Bhatt, Tista Setalwad, R.B. Shri Kumar, are going to be confronted with each other and also with the new documentary evidences that the Ahmedabad crime branch has. They won't talk about how the allegations are not just against Tista but also the political hand that propped her up. At that time, the government of the U.P.A. Tista Setalwad NGO. ढेर सारी मदद करी है सबको मालूम है दी पूरे लुटियन दिल्ली को मालूम है गुजरात में तो आपकी सरकार थी इतने गुजरात में हमारी सरकार थी मगर जो एनजीओ थे उसको भारत सरकार ने मदद करी है सब जानते हैं और केवल और केवल मोदी जी को टारगेट बनाकर ये सब किया गया पॉलिटिकल गेन चाहते थे एंड दे सर्टेनली वोंट टॉक अबाउट द तीस्ता फाइल Rais Khan knows the inside details because he worked closely with Tista. He tells in the affidavit how he would get emails with witness testimonies that he would be asked to take a printout of and get signed by these victims and witnesses. All in English, obviously the victims not knowing what was inside them. And that's the reason why when they went before the SIT, their accounts diverged so much from the facts on the ground. The allegations are of misappropriation of funds. Because of her links with the Congress, perhaps, Tista was given grants to the tune of about 1.4 crore rupees by the Union HRD Ministry at that time, headed by Kapil Sibbal. It so transpires that many of those funds were channelized into Tista's personal accounts and investigation shows that expenditure was made on things like chocolates and liquor also. The Tista files are out, but could this all have been happening without a larger conspiracy at work? Let's debate.